Jen, Kenton's wife, and this is Buckshot Chronicles Season 2, Episode whatever. <laughs> 21, 22, something like that. So we are headed down to take uh, Jen, and her name is Beautiful. Uh, and we have Mommy, we are Beautiful, we have Callum, which is Roblox, and then we have Ruby, which is Dead Eye, and then we have Rowan. Can you lean in, Rowan, so they can see you? So we can She's make fun of you. She's gonna have a mystery last name. We, she does kind of have like the Linda thing going for her too. Linda. Like Lunch Lady Pretty. Linda. Lunch Lady Linda. Oh, you but should see not, her. She's so cute. But it's not gonna be jo Dora the Explorer like Joey. Yeah, no. Joey's Dora the Explorer. <laughs> so. <laughs> So we're gonna we're gonna try to come up with something really good for her. So we're probably cut in and out as we're going traveling down. Uh, we're gonna go to Plum City. I want to take the kids to go down there, and I mean, there's really not a lot of big trout down there. So if you're looking to go and get a bunch of keepers, uh, you can probably see from the videos we catch a ton, but we don't really get any of the slot, and that's fine because I I like to do a lot of catch and release and. And we just like to have fun. It's bigger so. fish next year. Yeah, Yay! that's right. Bigger fish next year. I like that, Rubes. That's a good attitude to have. So we're going to go down there just to catch fish and have some fun. Uh, it's raining right now, but it's supposed to stop in about 20 minutes. And then uh, we have an hour drive anyways. So and then we'll uh, just have some fun. Uh, we, if you remember, well, you probably haven't seen the episode yet because I haven't done it yet. <laughs> but yeah. it, by the time this is out, that will be released. Tim, the, the older gentleman who lives there, He's a really nice guy, and Got Ruby cookies. is gonna make has made him cookies. Tim asked for some oatmeal chocolate chip cookies. So Ruby, you want to show him that you made him two dozen oatmeal chocolate chip cookies, or do you got them put away somewhere? Well, they're right here. I can easily grab them. We should just start calling Ruby Toll House. Toll House. Like, <laughs> no, Toll House. She makes so many cookies. It's so good. So everybody, what? after long deliberations, I mean long deliberations, long we came up. Time with oh, Linda. Linda, the Linda the lunch lady. Okay, we're not Rowan. even gonna put Rowan in there. It's gonna be, we're Rowan just gonna call her rodent. Linda. Linda the lunch lady. No, Rowan the rodent. Hey everybody, we are here. We are at the fishing place. So we're gonna get everybody all geared up get everybody poles and then I'm going to show everyone how to fish and I'm just going to let them fish and try to do some recording. All right, we once we get some action, we'll, get, we'll uh, start taking some pics and some video. Thanks guys. Thanks babe. All right, so how to put a worm on. So if you look at the worm, so when you look at a worm, you see these little white things right here? These, wait, wait. The little round things right there? You want to put the hook through that. And what you want to do is take the end of the, the worm, take it through the point, and push it up. I kind of feel bad for the worm. And then you come out fine. that it's white thing, good. and you let it dangle like that, so the, they really can't see the hook. Then you just cast it into the current and let it come down into the hole, and you set the hook. So that's how you put a worm on. Want me right. to the holes? I want you to do it. I want you to put it through the holes. So I can actually see. Thanks. You're welcome. So what you do is you put that line through that hole and you pull it and then you put it back through the hole again. What do you do with that point? 
Okay, so now hold on. You gotta hold on to this side. And now pull the other side through like that. There you go. No, you did it perfect. See how you have, you want that to go about midway through. So you went about six inches. See that? Now you wrap it around and make a loop. Then you take the loop and you pull it through. I'm having a hard time doing it. Can you pull that through? Okay. Oh yeah, pull it through. You pull a little bit and then you take the loop that you pull through and then you take the hook and you pull it through that. It's called a polymer knot. This is a really nice knot. No, it's not. <laughs> dad joke? <laughs> really a dad joke? <laughs> Guys, that's what happens when you bring your spouse with you. It's awesome, but they, they know how to make fun of you. you so then you want to take, how many weights do you take now, Ruth? Two. Well, one, but then... Start off with one. Because the current takes it. Because the current takes it. So I wanted to show the difference for people. So they could, when I talk about, you know, having a removable or reusable split shot compared to a rounded one. So, yeah, I've been really concerned about this too. So the rounded one, well, Gina asked, you see how it has those little things where you can open and close right here? These things have a tendency to really easily get caught on rocks because when you close it, they flare out. And so they get caught really easy on rocks and you just find yourself replacing hooks. So the only time I really use these is in fast current. But what I like is these little split shots that are rounded and they just have a tendency to bounce off the rocks and not get caught as easy. So you wanna go about a foot or a foot and a half above your hook and you start off with one. And if you need more, you can add more. But we were here yesterday and we already know that we're gonna need two. So Ruby, I'm gonna put this one can on. Can you show it. us the split shot or whatever that one is? It's just Hold round. On. Okay, just show me. There we go. So it's just round. Okay. Can and you to put that 12 inches above the hook? 12 to, 12 to 16 inches, but yeah. Somewhere in there, and then you just pinch it. So I'm gonna put the second one on, because since we were here yesterday, we know it needs two. So I'm gonna push them right next to each other, and just pinch it a little. And we're good to go. So he's got his truck, and he's fishing with his girl and her friend, Rowan, or we call her lunch lady. Um, he's pretty happy. Anytime he gets to be with his kids, he's happy. And if I get to be here, it's kind of a bonus too, but I love him. The stick attacked me. That was gonna kill me. So I'll slowly reel in and just try to pull it down to go into that middle. I'm gonna put my finger on there. See if I can feel anything. See it's going right in that hole. Hopefully there's some fish right in that hole. So I'm re watching Callan. Callan's got a fish. Just pull it up, pull it up out of the water and bring it to me. You don't have to reel no more. Hi, little guy. Look at that. It's almost time to die. You got a brookie. Good job, buddy. Okay, everybody. This is kind of what I wanted to show you. You can see this faster moving water, kind of ripply. When you follow that down, you can cast in there, but it's going to be really grassy. It's not super deep. The reason why it's ripply is because it's going downhill a little bit and there's rocks there. But at the base of these ripples, you're going to see it's dark and it comes into a hole. And that's where the fish are going to be. That's a, that's a big hole. And so that's where the fish, some fish, not all fish, but this whole area right here is really nice because it's got bends in it. And that's where the fish are going to be. And you're just going to kind of work this hole for all different sides. Yep. So if you can see the worm, that means that it's not really of a good spot. So like Dad casted it right there and we could see the worm dancing around. That's not really that good. So, yeah. It's a beautiful brook. And it looks like it's 
I'm going to want to eat my nose again. So here's a lesson for you guys we wanted to teach you. So when you're so when you're fishing and you bring your kids with you, don't let them go in your hole because it scares all the fish away. So it's a really hot day. We've only got seven today total. So we are going to get going and we're going to go grab some lunch or breakfast. We'll take you guys with us. Okay, so as they're playing in my fishing <laughs> hole, so Linda, the oh, lunch lady over there, she is uh, drowning, oh, I guess. It only goes up to her knees, but she's drowning. <laughs> hey, the, the piranhas aren't in, they're not in the holes, they're on the outside of the holes where, like, where you're at. Ruby's having fun dangling in the water. Ready? Mommy filled her waders. I forgot to wear jeans, so I got. Wow, that is really deep, isn't it, Cal? Oh my god! It's cold. Did you hear that? Yeah. <laughs> you gonna go back in there? Oh, I got something! Oh, 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 what is it? What is it? Oh, 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 oh. it's jumping! Oh, it broke the line! Go! All right, cast out there. Oh, I got one! Oh, 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 the line broke! Yes. Hey, everybody. We are heading back to the truck. We only got about seven fish total today. It's just really hot, it's about 90 degrees outside. And you could really see all the way through the water. So every time we came up in a hole, saw the fish run away. That's just normal though. So tips for uh, trout fishing, cloudy days are the best. You get a cloudy day coming in or you get a <clears throat> right before a storm which is what we had the other day. So we had the perfect scenario the other day. And that's why you saw all those fish that we caught. Today was the opposite. And that's normal after a storm. When the heat comes in, then you just normally don't get as many fish. So that's very common. So I was hoping we'd get a little bit more, but I'm happy with what we got. The kids really had a lot of fun. They got to play in the water and in the holes and I'm gonna take them into Plum City which is really like two minutes from here, but we're gonna take them there and they're gonna see the trout at the trout pond. We're gonna go to Beeves, we're gonna grab some food and then we're gonna head home. So we'll take some pics when we get to Beeves. So thank you beautiful for joining us. Hey everybody, guess what? We're back at Beeves. So after uh, a really good time, you can see. We came back to Beeves. Fish weren't buying that good today, but we did have a lot of fun. You'll see that in the video. So we're gonna eat some lunch here, then we're gonna head home and we're gonna grill out and have a good day. All right, guys. I'll let you see what we get in a second.
Okay, guys, if you come to Beeves, you have to get the baby cakes. They're like little mini hash browns that are seasoned, and they are outstanding. Hey everybody, we're heading back home. We had a good time, only got like seven fish. So we didn't get, Callan got one, uh, Mommy got one, and I got I think five. Uh, so we got one, one keeper that we kept. Ruby wanted to have a trout, so I gotta clean that when we get home and make it for her. And, uh, but the best part of the day was they went out and they had a great time. Uh, it was really, really hot, just humid and just kind of unbearable. So we just thought the fish really aren't biting today. We could see them in there like crazy, but they just weren't biting. So the kids just decided that they were gonna go into the to the fish holes, the deeper holes, and just swim. And they had a great time. So we let them do that, let them wear themselves out a little bit. Then we went into town and we went to Beavs again and uh, had some really good food. The baby cakes, we highly recommend. They were delicious. Uh, and then uh, after that, we went to uh, the trout pond and let the kids play in the water with the or play with the feed the trout in the water play with them have a good time and now we're heading back so uh we we had beautiful back there and we had lady gaga over here i mean no linda the lunch lady linda the lunch lady join us today so linda how was it good you have a good time yeah would you go with this again if it's not so hot maybe if you yeah, I'll go again. You definitely go again. So we, we like Rowan. We consider one of our own kids, so we tease her a little bit. And so a little bit, a lot. We tease her a lot. Especially so, this one. So we tell her she's she's one of us. So uh, we have a good time. She she fits in really well with us. And so uh, we're glad to have you, Rowan. And we look forward to you coming again next time. So And beautiful, thank you for coming with us. Hope you can come again. I hope she does because I like having her with. She makes me feel happy. So, all right, guys. Uh, again, the recap, five fish. Oh, Ruby did find one morel mushroom. I don't know how she found it. We were walking through. She's like, stop, Dad, stop. And I'm like, what? 
She goes, look, there's a morale. And I'm like, what? She fought a morale. I didn't see any homes anywhere. So there might have been a stump of something that might have fell over in the water or something that was just along that root line is probably what I'm thinking. We looked around. We didn't find any more. So but no, that was a lot of fun. So all right, guys, we will talk to you later.